In this video, we're going to look at how to connect to an API that uses offset limit pagination in Airtable. We're going to use the coin ranking API and the coins endpoint. And this returns a list of cryptocurrency coins with their names, prices, and other details. So by default, we get a list of 50 different coins, which is the first page of results. If we look at the API documentation for this endpoint, we can see that we can supply two other parameters called limit and offset, and these are used for pagination. So by setting these, we can actually get different pages of results. So if we set the limit to 100 and the offset parameter to zero, we'll get the same starting point of Bitcoin, but then we'll get 100 results because we've set the limit to 100. And then to get the next page, we want to set this off offset parameter to 100 because we've done 100, or we want to start with an offset of 100. And we'll get a different cryptocurrency here. And we can keep doing that by setting the offset to 200 and adding the 100 each time. So back in Airtable, we're going to connect to this coin ranking API and use offset limit pagination. So click apps on the right hand side to open the apps dashboard and click add an app. Then search for the data fetcher app. Data Fetcher is a free app that lets you run API requests right within Airtable. Once you've installed it, you'll be prompted to sign up for a free Data Fetcher account or sign into your existing one. On the home screen, click Create Request and type in a name for the request, like fetch crypto prices. And then copy in the URL that you need. We're going to leave off the offset and limit parameters as we're going to set that up separately in data fetcher. Set the output table using use current and the output view as well. Then click determine fields and open field mapping. Click show response to see the actual response come in. Click filter all to remove all these fields. Now this is where we can set which fields from the response we want to keep and how they should map to the Airtable fields. So I'm going to keep data.coins.name and map that to the name field. And then data.coins.price and I'm going to set that as a currency field called price. Click confirm and DataFetch will now create any missing fields. Then click Advanced to open the Advanced settings. And under Pagination, select Offset. Now I need to enter the details of our pagination. So here we need to enter the name of the offset parameter. Here enter the name of the limit parameter. Now these will typically be offset and limit, but they might be something else for your API. And then for the value, enter 100 or whatever value you want to use. So this is equivalent to this value here rather than this one. Then select the number of pages you want to fetch. So I'm going to do four pages, but you could also use this toggle here to keep fetching data until there's no more data. Then close the app and click Run. And data fetcher is going to automatically set those parameters for us and pull in four different pages of data using offset limit pagination.